This is Olga, Merlin's nurse supervisor in Nanagrabitsi district in the Central African Republic. It's her job to oversee three of the 11 health centres Merlin supports in the area, travelling between each one every week, training over 30 health staff as she goes. I want to see what being a Central African health worker is like, so Olga lets me shadow her on her rounds at Disiku Health Centre. Our day starts at dawn. It takes an hour by car to get to Disiku from Merlin's base in Kagabandoro, and the first clinic begins at 8 a.m. sharp. We arrive to find women and children lined up for the vaccination programme which the centre runs every Monday. Mothers come in their droves to Disiku. Healthcare is now free here, and this is one of the best centres around. Before the vaccinations start, a Ministry of Health coordinator gives a quick talk to the assembled crowd on the importance of vaccinations. It's inspiring stuff, conveyed in simple language which gets everyone nodding in agreement. Protecting children against disease here is a daily struggle. More than 10% of babies don't survive birth in CAR. 20% of children won't live to see their fifth birthday. The vaccination programme is a sort of baby conveyor belt, with around 20 children brought in at a time. Each baby's weighed, checked for malnutrition, vaccinated and handed a medical card. Olga's role is key. Health workers are trained in the same way the world over. You learn by seeing a procedure, doing a procedure and finally teaching someone else to do a procedure. After watching Olga, each trainee health worker has a go. We vaccinate over 100 children in the course of three hours. Next, we go to the maternity ward. Genevieve and Pierrette run the show here. They're two very capable and calm traditional birth attendants. Neither of them has a formal qualification. Everything they know, they've learned through experience. Olga shows the women how to listen for fetal heartbeats using a cheap but effective stethoscope. As ever, she demonstrates, they follow. She's good at this and has the patience needed to repeat basic procedures over and over again until everyone gets it right. All the new mothers are given antibiotics, even if they've not given birth in the centre. This way, any infection picked up during a home delivery is swiftly dealt with. Merlin is about to rebuild this incredibly run-down maternity ward, providing more beds and bed nets, making it a clean and safe place for women to deliver. At the moment, too few beds mean many women have to give birth on the floor. People like Olga are vital. It's her training that's going to make the most of the few healthcare workers who are on the ground in Nanagrabizi. It's estimated that CAR needs at least six times as many health workers as it currently has. The scale required may be daunting, but I leave feeling optimistic. I end my trip with a meeting with the Minister of Health. He tells me Merlin has achieved more in the last 10 months than most could in 10 years.